Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to another, as you know, speed build, where today I am working on the most recent um, Simsy shell, the uh, hashtag cow plant, no, sorry, hashtag justice for cow plants um, shell, I guess, I mean, that. So normally I would have done like a house, but I'm pretty sure I talked about it in a recent build that I did where I said that I wanted to um, consider doing more like community lots. So here it is, a community lot for your viewing pleasure. So I made the cow plant cafe because it is the justice for cow plants shell. It only makes sense that the cafe is called cow plant cafe, of course. How could I miss such an opportunity? <laughs> um, originally, I wasn't actually going to do this shell challenge um, just because I don't, uh, I wasn't really feeling more shell challenges. I've been doing quite a few of them recently and I felt like I wanted to do something a little bit different. But when I saw Simsy post this um, shell, I immediately thought of doing like a cow plant cafe thing. So I figured that this was just an opportunity to do a community lot that I had been talking about doing for a little bit. So here she is. Um, I made that, as you can see, obviously, I made that uh, like diagonal bump out, or I guess it's actually a straight on bump out. The one section that's straight on, I made that into kind of like a, uh, I guess like an outdoor seating area. Um, I thought it looked really nice. Um, I didn't want this place to be too big and I, I don't know, I like outdoor seating areas and I feel like at cafes it's pretty common to have an outdoor seating area. So that's what we went for. And I still hate everything diagonal because diagonal walls and builds are actually the worst thing on this planet. But here we are once again doing another diagonal build for some freaking reason. But I just, uh, um, I put this lot on, I just kind of glossed over that. I put this lot on Magnolia Promenade because, I mean, that's just like the, I guess the, what is it called? The world in which all of the different uh, community lots generally kind of are. And so I just decided to put it there. Obviously you guys can put it wherever you want if you would like to. This build is up on the gallery if you guys would like to. And funny story, actually, when I was building this, I didn't even realize it until after I was almost completely done editing. But that part where I have those big sliding doors, I don't know if you realize, but uh, I pushed the wall back, not even thinking about the fact that this is a shell challenge and I have not meant to move the walls, of course. Um, I did go back in later and I did fix it and push the wall back out where it's supposed to be. So on the gallery, it does have the wall pushed back out where it is supposed to be and everything is just fine. So um, because this is a cow plant cafe, I figured that green would be a very prominent color here. So I was considering for even a brief moment just using those neon green uh, floors from, I think they're from City Living. They're like the basketball floors, but they're like neon green, like come in for your eyeballs, kill you in the night kind of color. But I decided that was a little bit extra, so I decided not to do that. Um, it's just like a nice light flooring with some like pale minty colored walls. So yeah, um, I worked on the layout for quite some time. You're not going to see it right now. You'll see it uh, expanding over the next couple of minutes, obviously, but I spent a lot of time on this poor layout. It was it was a struggle. I really had a hard time with it. Um, I essentially I built the entire downstairs area and completely forgot about the upstairs area. So I didn't put stairs in until after I'd pretty much finished the entire build. <sighs> Looking back on myself, I am I'm sorely disappointed that I completely forgot about the staircase to the upstairs. It's fine. We made it. Um, she's fine now. It only took a while. So yeah, I hope that everyone is doing well. I know that it is um, still a pretty tough time in this world that we are living in, but um, as time goes on, it's only going to get better. That is the hope, I guess. Uh, so hopefully everyone is doing well and taking care of themselves. It is almost the end of April, which means if anyone is in school, like myself, that means the school is almost over um, and I am absolutely ecstatic to be done with school. I'm getting my master's degree in May and I am very, very excited. I'm getting my master's degree in forensic psychology and then I will go off and start working, I guess. But, um, you know, it's the final push, guys. You guys can make it. We can all make it. I know that we're all really struggling. I definitely have had a hard time kind of keeping up my motivation to do schoolwork and get things done. 
um, now that I don't have to actually go into my classes anymore. And there was a really long period of time where there wasn't really much going on. My teachers didn't really have it quite figured out yet. And so there wasn't a lot of work to be done. And I definitely feel like um, I had like probably three, two to three weeks in which I pretty much didn't have any work to do because my teachers were trying to figure out how to um, change the formatting to an online class. And that kind of gave me this like, I probably gave it to a lot of people, this like feeling inside that they're done with school and they don't really have anything to do. And so it was kind of hard to get that motivation back now that we don't even go to school anymore. If you are already an online student, I mean, go for you because it's probably a lot easier for you. Nothing has really changed. I have one online class and I had two in-person classes. So my online class has not changed obviously, but my in-person classes have changed drastically. And it's been really hard to kind of keep up the motivation to do uh, work, especially since it's all like a different type of work and everything has changed and it's a struggle, it's a struggle. <laughs> but um, I'm now moving on to kind of like decorating everything. Um, I put down some debug objects on this uh, bar and everything and I don't think that I've put down stairs yet, but I will <laughs> eventually when I realize that I haven't done it. But first I'm gonna decorate the entire downstairs area first before I remember to put the stairs in. It's fine. Um, I tried to keep as much space open as possible for people to walk around, but I wanted it to still feel like there was plenty of seating. Um, I imagine this would be a pretty small cafe or a restaurant, so I didn't put too much stuff down. Um, this is functional as both a restaurant and a cafe, um, so you can have it as either. I think the way that I upload it onto the gallery, it's uploaded as a restaurant, but you can just change it when you go into build mode um, and make it whatever you want. So um, I'm working on the kitchen area right now and I'm fairly certain that what ends up happening is that I end up switching the kitchen and the bathroom because like I said, I forgot to put the stairs in and um, I had to switch them so that you, you'll see, you'll see later. It's, I don't need to explain it, it's fine. Um, and the other funny thing is now that I'm um, watching the video back, uh, no, this kitchen does not have a sink. So, you know, that's fine, I guess. I mean, the bathroom's like right there. It, you don't need a sink in the kitchen. I mean, you, I'm pretty sure I left that one counter space open specifically to put a sink in and then I just didn't. But you can always put a sink in if you feel the desire that the, your kitchen needs a sink, like most kitchens do, um, you know, go for it. Um, I'm just putting some decorations on each of the little dining tables and a little uh, tiny menu or like a drinks menu or whatever. Um, and then a little flare because that's what are on tables at dining table or blah, blah, blah. that's what's on tables at restaurants, right? Um, let us let us reminisce in the day in which wait, reminisce isn't the word I want. We'll come back to the word reminisce. Let us hope for the day in which I can get through a voiceover without having to go blah, 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 because I can't speak. We'll hope. Anyway, so the word rem uh, reminisce or remiss or whatever I just said made me think about the blog post that the Sims team, or I think it was Sim Guru Connor, posted on the Sims 4 blog website about some of the information relating to the upcoming stuff pack and break. Okay, hang on, wait, the stairs. So you can see the struggle I'm having with these stairs that I made the entire downstairs before realizing that I needed to uh, put the stairs in. <laughs> because there was an upstairs area, of course. Um, I had put the stairs in one place, but you could see before that um, the section that it came up at the top of the stairs was just not, it was just not gonna work. I mean, it was, it was just terrible. And so I was determined to find a better place to put them. And so I spent a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time looking for a new place to put them. And I don't even think that where I have them right now is where they end up being long-term, but the the uh, drink bar is, this is where it ends up being at the end. Um, I just end up pushing it back and just having it being on a different wall like that. It's not as ideal as I would have liked it, but it does still allow for, because where the stairs are, it does allow for some separation between the like drink bar area and the um, like restaurant area. Um, if you would say. So there is fewer seating here, but I think I end up adding an extra table or an extra chair or two somewhere else. Um, but I think I end up getting rid of one table and then just replacing it with like lounge chairs in there. 
Oh no, that is where I end up keeping the stairs, I guess. That's where they end up being, I guess. So it's definitely got a weird angle right there, but I mean, this entire build is just full of weird angles. I don't know if they're necessarily avoidable to be perfectly honest, so it is what it is. Anyway, reverse back to what we were talking about before when I got so rudely interrupted by my own speed build. Um, is the blog post about the rocking chairs um, and how elders have like the reminisce um, interaction with the rocking chairs about they can like look back on their memories of when they were younger and all that kind of stuff. I am honestly really excited for some new content to come out because I would love to just have a little bit of new gameplay to kind of incorporate into everything that I'm doing now. Um, and I'm very excited for there to be more like elder interactions and things for elders to do and all that kind of stuff. I think it'll be great. Um, I hope that you guys are excited. I mean, we're all wondering what the expansion pack and the game pack is going to be. I feel like I spend every single day just being like, hmm, what is it gonna be? I just, I need to know. I'm so uh, anxious, not anxious, anticipatory of it because I definitely want some new gameplay. Um, I've now moved on into this upstairs apartment. And so I made it so that whoever owns the cafe or whatever, they can live up here. Um, it's a pretty small apartment. It has a really big kitchen because I imagine that if you own a cafe, then you would have a big kitchen in your apartment. I don't know, that just seems to make sense to me. So it does have a very big kitchen. It doesn't have like a dining room or anything. Cause I don't know. I just imagine that people who own a cafe don't really need a dining room in their apartment. I mean. I could be wrong. It's probably quite a, an, an assumption to make, but they have, they do end up getting an island um, with two chairs. I imagine there's only space for two Sims to live here anyway, so they don't really need a big space for that, but they do have a nice big kitchen and a laundry room and there's plenty of um, clutter in the laundry room. I put like uh, paper clutter and all that kind of stuff all over the floor because I imagine that because they run a business right downstairs there's just like paper clutter of all of the business expenses and bills and all that kind of stuff just all over the floor so that is what the state of their uh, laundry room looks like um I'm finishing up just cluttering the counters I think here in the kitchen and then I'm going to be moving on into the living room here soon um so yeah so i think what time when was the blog post posted i'm asking like you can actually answer me at this point in time but the blog post i think was put up maybe like a week a week and a half ago and so it was over the next six months which would be oh, oh my god i don't even know what month that is anyway math is way too hard for me i can't i can't even be bothered but Hopefully, I guess that means that at least we'll get an announcement on the expansion pack, maybe by like the end of May or the beginning of June. I guess that would be ideal. Maybe they'll still release it at the time that they would like generally release it if they were even going to have EA Play this year, which I mean, I would imagine that there will not be EA Play this year because of, you know, this. Um, <laughs> is there any other way to really discuss it? Um, so I wonder if that's if it's going to be released around the same time it normally would have been if EA Play was still a thing or if it's going to be delayed because of this whole, you know, thing. Um, so we'll just have to see, I guess. I'm not really sure. I am curious to know what it's going to be. I'm honestly probably most curious about the game pack, though, because they said it's something they've never done. Like, what is something that The Sims has never done that they would put into the game? Like, I just... There's like almost honestly kind of like an endless amount of possibility, but you know, I'm quite interested um, about what this expansion pack will be. I'm hoping that maybe there was this whole thing about um, travel in the patch updates being a recurrent theme and that maybe that had something to do with like a hint towards the expansion pack or the game pack or whatever. Um, I'm not really sure because I could have sworn that I remember the sim guru saying that they did not intend or didn't have any plans to put cars or anything in the game so i don't know if travel is uh, i don't know if it's meant to be more like another destination world maybe um i kind of hope not a destination world ideally i would prefer something that's more um like mainstream gameplay i guess 
like something with like resorts or hotels that would be something that I would find to be ideal would be adding resorts and hotels and stuff like that to different worlds that already exist um and having like I don't know like getaway type of things but maybe being able to get away in worlds that are not vacation worlds if that makes sense like being able to have a hotel in San Myshuno or something that would be really cool um because people go to like say if San Myshuno is New York City you can live in New York City but you can also like travel to New York City um and that's how every world is in like the real world so I mean it would make sense right so if the travel thing is a little poppity hint of what is to come that would be something that I think would be really cool um and I don't think it's super out of bounds because they've obviously done um hotels and resorts and stuff like that before so for the expansion pack I think that that could be super interesting it just kind of depends on how they would obviously do it I mean there's a million things that they could do um and then also the travel thing could just be complete bs you know that might not even be a thing that's actually was meant to be a hint maybe it just was something that desperately needed to be patched in so I don't know it's hard to tell I mean I guess we'll just have to find out. We'll just have to wait and see. But I've completely talked past everything I have done in the upstairs. And now I'm putting in the um, the cow plant memorabilia. So I put two cow plants down. Um, I don't know if they'll like grow in the game from pulling them out of the build and buy catalog. I don't actually know. So I guess we'll find out. And then I put some little cow plant poster from Strangerville all over the place. I imagine it's like a cow plant band or something that plays there a lot or like that they they support all of the other cow plant peoples in this in the world because they are cow plant people that's just who they are um but now i'm starting on the uh, landscaping or i'm about to start on the landscaping um it has really simple landscaping i didn't want to feel like there was a lot going on there's just you know the usual my landscaping usually looks pretty much the same where there's some trees and then plants around it and then the rest of it's mostly grass because I imagine that they mostly just have straight grass um, I put down some hedges around the walkways and everything like that so that it feels a little bit more intentional and you can get into it from um, either of the two streets that there are attached to the building um, but yeah I think that's pretty much everything we're about to have the screenshot so I hope that you guys enjoyed um, please subscribe if you have have not already and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!